Hello everyone, this is Exy, I'm the owner of the National Association of Stab Attacks, and this is a National Deck Stab Mons League, which should be really fun because we have made a few steps to hopefully make it more balanced and competitive and still function like a normal draft league. However, Stab Mons, if you are not aware, is a tier where every Pokemon can learn all the moves of its type. Now there are a few peculiar rules such as if a Pokemon can change typing outside of a battle, it is able to learn all those. A good example is Shaman. A Shaman landform would be able to use all flying moves because through the Gracidia flowers you can make it a flying type outside of battle, teach the moves then hypothetically, and then put it back to landform and it would still have those flying type moves. An example that wouldn't keep these moves is Darmanitangala. If it goes to Zen mode, it would be a fire type. However, it can only become a fire type inside of a battle, and after the battle, reverts to an ice type, which therefore results in not getting fire type moves in this format. For Rotoms, we have decided to keep it competitive. They will have all ghost moves and electric and their respective typing. And there's a couple bad moves down here, such as no retreat uh, uh, and transform, which should hopefully keep the format far more competitive. But uh, let's just ignore the rules for now. The owner is me, of course, and the moderators are Mr. Marshadow and Sir Kill. Huge shout outs to both of them. Mr. Marshadow has fixed the dock more times than I've messed it up, which is quite a high number. And Sir Kill has far more experience in draft than me and helped hugely with the tiering. And without either of those two, the dock would not be in this state, the league would not be ready or done at all. And I wouldn't be recording this, so I'll come back when the other players are here and we will go and analyse the draft. Right, so the first team is Robopup's team, the Arizona Absols, and it's an electric terrain team, Coco Raichu. Um, Mega Sableye on this team, the double ghost going on, but. This is the first team. It's got some good mons like Sizzle, which gets flying moves as well. It has Rim Regus, which gets recovery in this format, and Spike, so it's definitely going to be good. And it has some pretty cool mons with Coco and Raichu. No Rising Voltage Coco, of course, because that would be too broken. But Raichu Lola is going to hit pretty hard with that in terrain. And overall, some solid mons Nilego, Victini, and pretty top heavy but he, he doesn't have two trash mons at the end so it's kind of 10 good mons which pretty decent strat i mean i mean anything to say about I mean, this team would you rather like have like five good pokemon than like five decent pokemon to trash mon or just 10 really good mods so top heavy is fine yeah definitely and um, i mean I mean, there's no mm, normal I mean, type, which is something I feel like is really nice to have in this format, but... Yeah, there's... your rapid spinner is Blastoise, which... True, so has spin. Um... Uh, and Hypnotop. Oh, yeah, he has conventional spinners instead of normal types, but that means... I don't think any of these naturally gain wish support, so not really many clerics, I mean, but... Double Ghost is interesting in a format where darks are going to be so, so powerful, but... Mega Sableye is not weak to dark, so I don't think that's going to yeah. be too much of a problem, but there is Raichu Alola and Victini as two psychics as well, so dark types going to be pretty nice against this team. Um... This is why you draft better dark types than Pangoro. <laughs> Pangor is great. And I love is Tepico. pretty good for this team as well. There's... I love Tepico, who keep in mind no rising voltage on Tepico. Um, yeah, definitely. But yeah, especially, especially, especially with Terrain Raichu, this team has a lot of speed. Four mons base 100 or higher with a 130. That is definitely nice to see. But there is nothing slower than. Well, Rumiris and Mega Sableye, they're not going to do anything in Trick Rooms. This team might be too fast and have nothing really slow, but that shouldn't be a problem. And Terrain's always a nice gimmick to have, because in a matchup where you have Coco and, say, your opponent doesn't have a mon that sets Terrain, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want with Coco and Raichu, and no one can stop you. 
the same in weather matchups where you have rain and they don't have weather. But overall, I think this is pretty solid. I mean, I think it has most of the types you want to see. Um, it's got fighting, psychic, dark. It has steel, mm. no, no, fairy, no, no. Yep. dragon. But and there is no grass type, but it shouldn't be much of a problem. No grass type is. Yeah, it's definitely one of the stronger types. It already was, but it is pretty strong. Oh, but th this is—it's not going to really impact too much on this team, I feel, because it's quite hyper offensive. I mean, Victini, Nilego, Raichu, Coco, Kiram. It's very offensive, I feel. So. And the last choice is Shell Smash. Oh yeah, sure. It's the normal one, so it does get Shell Smash. Although. I guess Victini can run the screens. I don't know if anything else learns them. But I Raichu feel like that is naturally. I, yeah, Raichu screens Raichu. Coco, but I feel like if you're running Coco Raichu, you want them both offensive, and then to use mums like Kiram and Blastoise to remove the grounds. But both of his electrics get screens. That would go naturally yeah. and Raichu because it's a psychic type. Yeah, exactly. And this team has quite a good physical and special split with Coco being able to run either, Victini able to run either, Kiram can run either. And Scizor is quite a good physical, Raichu Alola is quite a good special, and Ilego is quite a good special. Overall, I feel like this team's. It looks pretty solid. B B Banded me Hilego, when? When are we going to see Banded no Hilego? <laughs> Um, one thing worthy of note is that there is no ground resist, or I can't spot one. No ground resist? Uh, yeah, that's true actually. And so resist. I was just going to pull up something that can quickly check resists for us. I didn't try Tapu Coco. So... This is ground resist. This document would switch. It didn't earlier when I tried to open it. We'll be able to quickly check all the teams. Oh, right, I'll have to save a copy again. Right. If it loads, it's a big thing, so... I don't know if that's going to happen or not. And... Dark Resist is Tapu Coco? That's true, yeah. It, I mean, it's mostly Hyper Offense resists on the world, not having a very good one. Wow. I mean, Coco is good Absolutely. in that it will also threaten the dark type when it switches in, like it will gain you some momentum back. We'll and just take on top can uh, map punch, I guess. Yeah, technician map punch too. I think I'm gonna give up with opening the other dock because <laughs> clearly it won't load. It must have some connection right now. So, um, and for this one, it has removal in several ones that naturally rapid spin. Uh, and hitting on top is great for me though. Exactly. And rapid yeah, spin yeah. is technician good, um, good. With I mean, Rude rapid spin is technician good, so it's going to be a really strong rapid spin. Yeah, it is a strong rapid spin. Wow, this stock really didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> of course Google Docs is like this when I go to do this. It's been fine all day. And now it's unresponsive again. You want one of us to share our screens and then you can oh. record this call? Uh, yeah, we could try that. We'll pause the recording for now. Yep. And this is the second team, which... Wait, scroll up so we can see whose it is. Uh, that is a known user's team, uh, called the users. Evergrande Groudons. Okay, now this team... Well, also has no normal type, I've just noticed. It has Weavile, which is definitely good in this format with Pursuit. And another Hitmon. Another Hitmon, two in a row, that's Hitmon Chan. And Rotom Fan, which is going to be a lot better than normal due to recovery in Roost. And with Levitate, it's going to be able to Roost and not get hit by Earthquake, so I'm it may sure have it a useful like ability. That. I'm not sure it works like that. It has Levitate, surely. It can roost and not get yeah, hit by the ground move. Like if uh, Wadios roosts, it doesn't lose levitate. Yeah, exactly. And it has the Mega uh, Latios itself, which it, it normally is recover anyway. But 
Anyway, this is Excadrill Gigalith on a team which I I don't know if there's any... I think there's a rain team in this league, but I don't think there's a sun team. So this is one of the weather teams, and it's just Gigalith Excadrill, no hard weather, no anything else Honestly, to go with it. But... Southland was such a good normal here. Why didn't you just take Southland? Yeah, Stoutland. I really feel there should be Stoutland on any sand team, but it's got some good ones on this, like Clefable, Jellicent, of course, and, well, at, at the top we see Entei, Megalatios, Weavile, which are all pretty good mods. Um, let's see. It does have oh, the... Megalatios. True. I mean, Megalatios, I don't see how often you're going to be running Teleport on it. You could try and run it as if it's Latias, but I don't think Wish Teleporting is going to be its thing. <laughs> yeah, we've got Water, Grass, and Fire on this team, Dragon, Steel, and Fairy on this team, Psychic, Fighting, and Dark on this team, so it's running all the three standard cores. And it looks like it has an immunity to everything, it has Grounded Poison, has a Flying type, has a Steel type, has a Fairy type, and has water immunity and jellison so it's very nice in a sand team yeah really nice to have that on a sand team because then in certain matchups such as rain or against water types which all of them have aqua jet it gives you a switch in and that's one thing i want to so make me I'm shudder not... at the thought of product <laughs> but i'm not sure how good sand rush is going to be in a league like this where priority is so much more common even if you have sand up you're not going to be safe from mac punch aqua jet ice shard and so many more mons are going to have them i mean it's going to be safe from the uh strongest priority which is going to be uh cell rock yeah so, yeah it's, it's safe from some priority. two fighting there are two fighting priorities mac punch and vacuum wave so good luck mm -hmm. The vacuum wave is not going to be too impactful because, I mean, Joe has slightly better spadef, but most fighting types are physical and a lot of them already have it. special defense, but you know, it's still not for already. Excadrill because it's not a rock type. All right. But Weavile is definitely going to be big in pursuit trapping a lot of psychic types for this team, but I don't see too many mons that need psychic types gone. I mean, yeah, Hitmonchan. Do Latios likes it? I guess so. No. Latios also, might Weavile's like it so he can play Psy Strike a bit more. Weavile is uh, a better yeah. Pursuit Trap than Umbreon. I don't see Umbreon and... I, I think two Dark Types is good in this format, definitely, but I don't see Umbreon and Weavile coming to many of the same games. Double Dark is fine here, but why Umbreon? Now, Umbreon has a few useful things i guess you can run like tox topsy turvy on it you can run part and shot wish, wish rapid spin i guess another rapid spinner yeah although you have exadrill which i know it doesn't want to use spin to remove hazards too often but one of the you also have hitmonchan you have two good rapid spinners already although this seems a lot more balanced than the first one and i think it I don't know how good defense is going to be in a format like this, where all mons have great coverage, but this team has quite good coverage itself, and should be able to switch into a lot with Clefable, Jellicent, Umbreon, Gigalith. It's pretty bulky. Okay. Okay, um. third team, the Bidarm Riders, this is Sir Kale's team, and I think this is one of the strongest, personally. But we'll have to see. Yeah, so Tapu Bulu. But I think by far the most buffed Pokemon in this format with Play Rough Grassy Glide. Which it should already have, but it doesn't. And it's already gonna get the insane coverage with close combat. Yeah, as well as Stone Edge, which really yeah, helps. What's your switching to Play Rough Grassy Glide in close combat? Exactly, there's none. And if there is, it has a rock move to deal with it. And also Infernape, which now has insane coverage on both physical and special. So that thing mixed is a huge threat because you do not know what defense to run on your wall and it may even need both. So 
I think Mixmons are insanely good in draft, and Infernape with firefighting coverage is one of the best ones you can have, I think. Good luck, it turns out it's gonna use Vacuum Wave. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, I said not many, but that is definitely one mon that might run that. And but you get Vacuum Wave normally, if I remember correctly, so... I think so. But with Tapu Bulu, Infernape, and then either Greninja or Vaporeon, this is probably one of the strongest fire water grass cores we've seen and scavalier is definitely going to be insanely good steel type to have in this format with priority well, of both of its stabs i think the most underrated buff on his team is it magnetized electros uh with its levitate ability it's gonna be super definitely strong. definitely well, electros is a mod that i've never used but i've seen it used on a lot of teams and for some reason, I've only ever seen good players draft it, so must be something about it that I'm missing. And... I mean, it's in Liquid with Levitate. Yeah, which is very good. That is a good point. And we have we have to... water utility. Mm -hmm. I I didn't hear what you said. Can you repeat that? Oh, I said no weakness, lots of utility. Plus it gets Bolt Strike now, which is pretty nice. Uh, okay, yeah. No we know as well. Utility and good coverage now. Yeah. And the Bulu Drift Blim, it kind of has that terrain call going on. Just a tiny one that might go unnoticed. And it definitely has a lot of useful pairings. For example, Infernape. You always have Water Switch and Vaporeon. For mod like Greninja, you've obviously got a ground type, you've got a steel type, you've got a flying type, you've got a ghost type, you have a normal type. Pretty much anything that has immunity, you've got one on this team. And I think the Scavalier with Heal Order is going to be an insanely good wall. Pretty much a scissor, so that definitely appreciates having a lot of fire assists, which this team does. And. Mega Garchomp obviously has insane move pool with it's Dragon Dance, Dragon, Dragon Darts, Precipice Blades, EQ. Also, you you could totally run a uh, Hunk Cloud's Precipice Blades. You Hunk could, but I feel like Dragon Dance Earthquake is just better. Like, if you're going to. I feel like if you want that, there's no point setting up your accuracy on a mon like Mega Garchomp. You could just set up your speed as well on Earthquake, I think, but. You definitely could try that tech. And Regigigas, insanely better on in this than in normal Pokemon due to moves like Slack Off, now Wish support if you want it, which has an insane health stat to do, Rapid Spin, and many other normal type moves that are good. And Return is in this format, unlike Gen 8, so that does give it a strong stab once its ability is worn off. Okay. Yep. Um, next up is my team. There is a rain team. There is a rain team, and it's your team. I'll let you do most of the talking. So, so this is my team, the Master of Metagross. Um, no. Oh. Really wanted Zapdos. <laughs> no, someone has to take it to pick me for me. Who needs Zapdos? Their roar is good enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's good Zapdos it's ring is really, really strong. It's really solid, yeah. But I mean, it's still a solid rain team. Mega Swampert, Zerora, and Pelipper. That's what you really want on rain. And Ferrothorn, obviously insane pairing on a rain team. I mean, I have a slight uh, fire weakness, but it's a rain team. I think I can afford it. Yeah, with rain up, you can afford a fire weakness. I don't, uh, I don't see how often Mariani is going to come. So Milting with Big Fat in rain is going to be taking. It's going to be healing from fire moves. That's true. <laughs> um, three water types uh, is definitely abusable. Um, I don't see I don't see Mariani doing much on this team. You have Palapa as the bulky water, and I, I just don't see it coming. Marini is point filler. That's true. It's pretty cheap. You can afford to run it, and even with your fire weakness, as you said, you do have Flash Fire Flareon, which 
Isn't one I'm so glad to see drafted. Now it has normal type moves. I feel like Flareon actually might be good here. But we'll see. I'm gonna it's gonna run facade. It's not gonna run return. It's gonna run facade because of guts. Uh, you can run it defensively though. I mean, it's got 110 special defense. You can run it as a wish pass or a rapid spinner. I think Boots Flash Fire is good enough. But also, I'm pretty sure I'm one. Also, uh, Cotton Guard Feral Thorn. Um, Cotton Guard Body say. Press Feral Thorn with moves like Strength as well. Sap. Well, as well. not since it is more likely Strength Sap because of because of Rain Team. Yeah. Ferrothorn, definitely one of the best mons in this format. I mean, if you pretty much allowed, cannot bring a physical attacker insane. versus me. You cannot bring a physical attacker versus me. You can. I mean, it's going to struggle with that <laughs> Ferrothorn, the Blade, and you have quite a lot of mons that have decent defense stats Miltank, Mega Swamper, Pelipper. But you could try it. Mind, every fighting type gets uh, Sacred Sword, so it can even more uh, Ferrothorn's defense raises. Yeah, Sacred Sword, which is a good move. Although, I think I don't know if Secret Sword works the opposite way. It might. Secret Sword is like Psy Shock. Yeah, just yeah, Psy Shock. Okay. Uh, and then, I don't... I see Rabombi as a good fairy, good Weber, but if you have Zero Aura and Mega Swamper and Rain, is a web there for Dragouge and Pangoro, or...? Yeah, it's there to be a fairy type. It's just there for the fairy, okay. But it's a good fairy still. It's just webs is normally what it's ran for. And it also uh, gives webs for like Pangoro, Dragalge. Yeah. Or Choice Specs, um... Uh... Choice Specs Waterburb. Oh yeah, you can definitely try that set. I could, I could definitely do like choice stacks developer behind webs if I wanted to. If you want to, but it, it's an option. You have to want to do it to run that set. Um, and, I, oh, um there's also, no ghost type on this team. Oh wait, there's the blade. I'm blind. I I've literally been talking about it. I'm pretty blind. Um. Also, uh, flip turn a uh, Pelipper if I really wanted to. Oh yeah, flip turn. Really good move for Pelipper. I mean, it already got U-turn, but now it's going to be rain boosted and stab boosted. And I, I don't think you'll need it, but you could run Aqua Jet on Mega Swamper. Oh no, my Mega Swampert wasn't fast enough. <laughs> yeah, not fast enough in rain. <laughs> I think this team looks like it has a resist to everything it would need one to, so... It looks pretty solid, actually. And they have a couple of really good uh, dark resists with Pangoro and your combi. Yeah, but you don't have much of a dark weakness to need that many. You have Azelf to blade and that's it. And you have one of the best grass switchings in the game for your Mega Swampert, Ferrothorn. Also, yeah. Dragouge, four times resist. And Milton gets Sap Zipper. And subs of milk tank, yeah. So I think yeah, this seems very good. Of course. Yeah, fair. Enough. You know, for some reason, I draft really good team, and then I go out to do horribly with them. <laughs> well, let's change that this season. <laughs> yep, that's the that, that plan. Uh, yes, um, next team. Next team is the Atlanta Age Slash, coached by Voldark. He is in the call, so I'll let him talk. Oh, uh, like why I drafted all of it? Yeah, just your <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> oh gosh, now you're putting me on the spot. Um, uh, I don't really know if I have a lot of good things to say. Uh, I I sort of drafted specific, specifically because this was the first season. I kind of drafted a bunch of stuff because I just liked some of the individual sets. I don't know if it has as much synergy as. You, uh, Mr. We should Marshall do a Zapdos with Zero or a trade. That would be really nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. But I saw a lot of... I don't want to reveal the text that I saw that a lot of these mons could use. Um, also, I just realized, Psyche Shield Ferris one. Psyche yeah. Shield Ferris one is going to be super oh, yeah, cool. Be one. Just um, saw the chestnut, and that reminded me. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zapdos, I think, is going to go, is going to be really good with all the new sort of draining moves that it has access to. Yeah, Oblivion Wing, Parabolic Charge. It's pretty yeah. nice on it. Um, there are one or two techs that I want to use on Mega Kang that I think, depending on how they do, either are going to make me regret drafting it because they're not as good as I thought they would be, or there's probably going to be some argument that it's too broken and that I need to redraft my Mega. Okay. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. I mean, you go a long way with like your double rapid spins and all that good stuff. Oh, Have yeah. I missed anything, guys? Hi. Hi. Uh, no, we just kind of started. Yeah. Okay. I'm, li I'm loose here. Right. And um, that's pretty good. Have a great pursuit. Have a great pursuit, user in Scan Tank. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you have pretty good synergy. I mean, obviously Flygon, four times Ice Week, you then have the also, Volcanion. I like how every Pokemon on your team is dual typed except Kangaskhan. Oh yeah, a lot <laughs> yeah, of dual types. I, I sort All of, these moves have like, I sort of, yeah, I sort of did that on purpose because I wanted to kind of get the full abuse of stab. The, like the, the... the full stab mode. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Triple normal is interesting, but who do you? Wait, say that again? Triple normal is interesting with Kangaskhan and Didi and two cannon. Oh yeah, uh, the two cannon was just like a filler at the end that I was like, maybe I'll find an interesting use of it. You um, definitely could. And Didi was because I wanted. I was like, I feel like somehow I'm gonna find out that I'm gonna get screwed by um, by priority, and so I was like, I want to be able to stop that. Well, a Celerock hits uh, quite a lot of your team with nine tails. Exactly, tails and that's and basically that those. was kind of my yeah. yeah. And I got Definitely. Stunfisk Galar because um, it basically helps me wall all of the like wild terrain users like Coco and Rillaboom and Tapu Bulu now. So, so you're, gonna get, uh, with... skill, you're gonna get skill link tail slap ways to cannon. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Stunfisk Galar definitely a good wall now that it has With 120 on attack, that. oh my god, to cannon yeah, is gonna be also, really strong. It gets mimicry, so when it switches into uh, what's it called? Um, terrain. Yeah, terrain. Ca it'll, it's it'll... Johnny H and she spent up. It's like yeah. cast forms forecast, but it's for terrain. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's so pretty it does not change your stats. So that should yeah, that should help me versus like I said, Tapu Coco. Not to say that I was necessarily weak to them. I would say my biggest issue. And Actually, it doesn't help with Coco. You're gonna lose your ground typing when you come in on it. Oh yeah, that is good. That's a good point. I'll but, still resist. Uh, I guess yeah. I'd rather be immune than, than resist. That's a good point. <laughs> and there's no second I mean, ability, Flygon. so you're gonna have to use Flygon to check Coco, which is not, is fun, not very nice. Very... Yeah. 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 We'll see how that works out. We'll see. Um, my my biggest issue, I would say, is the speed tearing. Like I nothing. Up, 109 max is really bothering me. You you have four at number 100. That's all right. Yeah, exactly. Especially uh, with DD to block all of your own priority, that could be a pretty big problem. True. Yeah. Although this team what doesn't have too like? much priority on it. I mean, Ice Shard, Ninetales, Alola, I don't see that coming very often. There's no bug quick type. Quick attack on Flygon? Yeah, I mean, quick Fox attack and uh, Mega Kanga. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aegis Slash. Oh, yeah, Aegis Slash is really nice in this. And all the priority we've listed is priority that the Pokemon get normal except King. I think, yeah, I think the only new thing is like Bullet Punch on uh, Slash, but we'll see. Bullet I think I have, an, uh, yeah. I have an idea of something I might drop, or the one or two things I might drop, and one thing I would pick up if the speed becomes a real issue, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. And next hey, Mr. Team... Marshall, what's your team? Uh, Mr. Marshall's team is the rain team. We've been over it. Yeah, but it seems like he's just about in every other draft league I'm in, so. Just saying. Uh, if we quickly look at our mutual servers. Um, we have four mutual servers. Okay. Oh. And the Cincinnati Kloetzers, which is owned by In the Quagmire. Which is see, in the call once again, so we're going to put you on the spot. Still muted, so I think 
we should probably do it ourselves. Now, look, look at the types section on this team and look for flying. There's quite a lot of them. <laughs> now, so, uh, one of the best be yeah, flying is definitely like a, a good type with access to a cell rock, with all of them getting defog, oblivion wing, dragon ascent. Four flying types? Maybe a bit much, but we'll see how that turns well, out. Hey, this team guys are so well. What what are your cell rock resists? Mega Glade. Mega Glade's a very good rock resist, but I yeah, think I mean Glade can tank as well the as Excel four rock. flyings. I also see four water types: Omastar, Crodon, Arachnid, and Cloyster. Um, they got Omastar, so I couldn't take Omastar. <laughs> I was never planning to take Omastar. Uh, and they never traded away in Grace. So, there's no steel type, there's no fairy type, and there's no dragon type, but this team does have the firewater grass core, and it does have psychic fighting dark, so it has a defensive I, I, core I, and the main offensive core. I think core. you're overlooking the very iconic flying, flying, flying core. I think four flying, four water is a pretty good core too, but we'll see. Now, Cloyster doesn't do too much different with stab mons. I mean, it, you can run skill link water shuriken. That's actually quite good. But the physical stats aren't going to gain much. Amistar and Cloyster is two shell really smashes. Do much different than stab mons in normal. I think they got power away and fear against good. any rock type. Mega Glade gets Photon Geyser as a psychic type physical attack, which is going to be very good. Oh. No, we banned Thunderous Kick for a reason. I need to make up two matches. <laughs> and uh, uh, have, like, Rackman is going to be... Transactions the second I take over a team. And I think there is, I believe there is a complex ban on not Thunderous specifically, but on Prankster, and Thunderous is the reason it had to be put in place. On not running two moves that both drop stats on a prankster mon because else thunderous can run feather dance airy impulse and oh, nothing well, can break it that thing would be way too powerful the update, can i ask so... a question actually about the rules on that um, uh, yeah, is it all right is it all right to run uh, two stat dropping moves if you have a fast non-prankster mon yes. Yeah, I think so. A Molga, kind of. It's just no, like, thunderous, airy impulse, feather dance, roost kind of things going on. You're allowed to do it on a, like, fast mon. All so right. you, you could run that set on Defiant if you wanted. It's just... It's banned in um, Gen 7 stab mon, so I just didn't want it to do that set here. Airy impulse, uh, zero aura? Airy impulse, zero aura yeah. could be fun. Also, something... Yeah. I know, no. you could basically run Jolteon in this format, like Zeraora, just Plasma Fists, and then they can't Rapid Spin, but there's just small things like that that make this quite a fun tier. And, and this team, yeah. Speaking of Thunderous. Yeah, another Thunderous, and another team of multiple flying types. <laughs> um, Lonely Bean, do you want to talk about your team? You really put him on the you spot. You really put him on the spot. I think he's like, setting, he's like setting up his mic. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure. I'm really mad. I'm really, really mad. He took my voice down. <laughs> I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people are frost last. I think the, I stu think the thing stupid is, thing is, I, I, I picked Indeedy before, before that. that. I picked Indeedy before that. I picked Indeedy before that. Uh, should we start talking about this? Should we start talking about this? Here's the Lonely Bean, so I can eat them. Oh yeah, Lonely Bean. 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 Lonely
Oh yeah, That's lonely beans. So we can't talk. Right. I mean, I can't see no mic checks. I have this open the whole of the Discord window, and I'm recording it from that. So, yeah. So we have Scolipede, which is a pretty good hazard setter in this format. I believe it has spikes, toxic spikes, spikes and sticky toxic web. spikes, and webs. Yeah. As well as Quagsire, which now we get spikes. It's going to be quite nice. I think, at least. Is it Quagsire and not get Stealth Rock normally? Uh, yeah, it can run Stealth Rock spikes now with both of them. According to that, it doesn't. It's not listed under Stealth Rocks. Oh, wait, no, no. It, it does. It doesn't get Stealth Rocks, I think. Um, you have Double, which is the normal type, I guess, can Rapid Spin for this team, which. Doesn't like hazards. I see Mega Arrow, I see Scolipede, Frostlass, Tornado Therian, Nine Tails. Um, that's a lot of rock weeks. So this team doesn't appreciate hazards up, so. It's removal options being Thunderous and Double. As well as Mega Arrow, but you're not going to want to run Defog on that very often. It does also have Magic Bounce Espeon to uh, swap in on hazards. Oh, true. It's Magic yeah, Bounce Espeon is quite nice for this. And yeah, you can rapid spin on Espeon now as well because it evolves from a normal type. Um, that pretty good speed tiers. One fifty on Mega Arrow, Scolipede getting speed boost, and, and Mega Arrow with Dragon Dance. Oh yeah, Dragon Dance. It it does lose Rockhead when it Megas, so it can't run any of that Head Smash Brave Bird sets, but it still gets Tough Claws, Dragon Ascent. You with... could run that free Mega, just no item. You could. Although, I think with Mega Arrow, you're going to want to abuse Tough Claws and Dragon Ascent and things like that. So, you're going to want to Mega with that mod, I believe. It definitely has a good move pool. It gets things like a Celerock to stop an Ice type from Ice Sharding it, so, you can fight back against priority sets. And speaking of priority, mm -hmm. Scolopy so with first impression is of Ice Shard. Yeah, Grimstar is the dark resist of this team. Verizion's a good the dark resist. The clever resist that's mm, iffy. It's iffy on me. Iffy, no. I guess. I like it. But this team does iffy. have. Um, it doesn't have a dragon type, but it has the Grimstar Rage Steel Fairy and Steel. Mm -hmm. it yeah, it should be a dragon work. type. Learning Dragon Dance does not make you a dragon type. Are you sure? I am sure of that. Uh, I one thing I see, oh, yeah, there is a, I, I said earlier that I don't think there's a Sun team, there is a Sun team, and it's this one, but the Sun's gonna hurt Thunderous, I think. I don't actually know if that mod normally runs Hurricane and Thunder, but it can't run moves like that if it wants to hit, but Venusaur and I mean, Venusaur's gonna be alright in this form. Run, or, you know, it could just run Thunderbolt and Oblivion Wing. Yeah, definitely. And Weather Ball. Weather Ball too, it's a good move, yeah. This team is really fast, is what I just yeah, noticed. Yeah, really fast. <laughs> it has three mons below base 80 out of 12. Yeah. Uh, I don't see what it's going to do to and a one of them gets team, prankster. but... One of those gets Prankster. Yeah, even better. Wait, which one's Prankster? Oh, yeah, Grimstar. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about Thunderous, but no. Other Thunderous. And then I mean, Registeel gets Bullet Punch. <laughs> that is true. Quagsire gets Aquajet and it gets Water Shuriken, so you might just see a Quagsire throwing shurikens for the first time ever. Can you fire the minion, Joe? Wait, I'm looking at which. Do we want to move on to the next team? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Okay, the next team is the Totem Hot. Totenham. Hot scissors, first by I, 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 Okay, let me, as an English person, just tell you that is not how you say Tottenham. <laughs> right, this is the Tottenham Hot Scissors, <laughs> which obviously is based off the Tottenham Hot Spurs football team. Um, we see Mega Tyranitar Draco Zolt. So this is already a good pairing, although normal Tyranitar would be able to give more sand turns. Um, sand plus Shedinja seems a bit weird, but you're going to have to be careful with that. <laughs> um, you know, again, sure of Shedinja, super, super useful. Yeah, and it gets uh, Defend Order if you want to make it tanky. <laughs> but 
We have Tyranitar here. Mega Tyranitar. Insanely good in this format. Why did you get so much recovery in this format? It's stupid. <laughs> it does Spoil get a lot. Roost, heal order. Um, this, I don't think it will get Roost. No, um, should we test the flying? Or did it not get that? It, it doesn't no. evolve from Ninjask. It's from um, Ninkata. Yeah. I mean, it still gets heal order. And yeah. It still gets short. Two more moves than it needs. But I think with parting shot on Mega Tyranitar to bring in Draco's ult, that could definitely be a good pair. Moves like Diamond Storm, Shore Up on Tyranitar, as well as Pursuit, are going to be huge for it. Um, oh, so something that could be super, super annoying would be like Spike Sash uh, Ninjask. Ninja, sorry. You could, I mean, most people run boots on that mod now to deal with Stealth Rocks and Spikes, basically making it irrelevant even with a Sash. But that set can also work. Um, it's got good fairy on this team. Alright, Steel and Durant. And Draco's ult, which is a really good dragon to have in Sand. Uh, with new moves such as Bolt Strike, although you'd probably run Bolt Beak anyway. And Dragon Darts, of course. And DD. Yeah, Dragon Dance Draco's ult is going to be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, like switching into a resist or an immunity on that with the fear of ODDing up. Yeah, even if some of these mods aren't gonna run many new moves, just the fear of them alone makes a lot of them better. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot. <laughs> I think yeah, it's gonna be interesting how this format affects playstyles. Yeah, because you're gonna have people in battle who've thought of these crazy sets for their opponent's mons, and they're gonna be playing around sets that their opponent would never have even considered. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think, I think people are gonna get in their own head a lot in this format. Yeah. I think to some extent you won't even be able to, like, EV your stuff to counter a bunch of stuff you're just gonna have to be like i need to make a team that synergizes well this week and then then maybe if you have like a leftover stuff you can consider how am i gonna you know take a hit or something you, you probably have to just prep for the strongest move it learns because there's a lot yeah. of first different things Durant there. isn't bad oh yeah first impression bullet punch duran it's gonna be pretty clean does Spectre get anything good? Spectre and yeah, now gets Moongeist. Shadow Sneak. I mean, yeah, Moongeist Beam is the only move that actually affects it. Okay. But if all you do is but click Shadow Ball, giving it a better Shadow Ball makes it a lot better. Yeah. Although, still, the Hex set's gonna... I don't I don't think the Hex Will-O-Wisp set's ever gonna be used now it has Moongeist Beam, but it still could be. Um, P2 is a wish passer. That's gonna be good. So a rapid spinner. Can also glare. Can also glare. Way. Yeah. Glare's a really fun move in this format. Um, uh, also gets a lot better. Now we can run Oblivion Wing Searing Shot. It's just stronger moves. Gets recovery easier. It's gonna be pretty does, nice. Does Moltres learn any setup moves? That we know. It learns agility. Alright, yeah. but no like nasty plot or No, no calm mine. No, nothing like that. Unless Most you yeah. get lucky with ancient power. Keldeo oh, that's a good idea. is pretty nice. Now Keldeo I, I believe it already could run some mixed sets, but now you could even run close combat, flip, turn, and just run full physical on Keldeo. I think it already got both of those. I don't think it got both of them. I mean, it already got flipped on. I know it got flipped on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know it if it got, got close, close combat, combat, but it's going to get better moves such as Liquidation, which I don't think it gets. It can it can run both now, is what I'm saying. Celebi is an interesting one. I don't really know what else it's going to run. You can run it as screens, I guess. I It'll become it... a really good physical wall because of Cotton Golden Strengths up. Oh, that's true. Strengths uh, up. Healing. Yeah, uh -oh. most, yeah, and, oh, and, yeah, that's gonna, yeah, Jungle I think it's gonna become a really good physical wall. I know most psychic techs already sort of get all the psychic moves, but so, besides, like, photo, getting, like, photon, some offensive moves, like, all the utility is already there. But you I think run as Trick Room, yeah, Trick Room Teleport, which, I don't see what you'd want Trick Room for on this team, but you can run that on any psychic type. Yeah, 
That's a good point. Can, we, can you scroll down so we can see the speed tears? Marshadow? I think Marshadow's gone. Yeah, it sounds like it froze. Yeah, it does look like it. Yeah, Sound Rush Rikers up. And yeah, that's it. the speed tiers, yeah, Drake is all effectively 150. Oh, yeah. So it's 130, 109, 108, 100. It's pretty no, good. No, it's even faster with a multiplicative bonus after the EVs have been applied. Uh, yeah, true, it's actually. It's really fast, that's all we need to know. Yeah. And bulk up Keldeo could happen, but who knows. I mean, you can run the... I'm imagining like like a bulk up call mindset, but that will never work, you. I think. It's mostly just there to break ground types for Draco Zol. I don't think it's going to run much other than the standard water moves. Mm -hmm. like... Get your specs, get your bound. Yeah. And I think next... Well, the next, alright. Next uh, is... Oh, it's me. A uh, shiny spender. Alright, so do you want to take this, uh, actually? Yeah, or? let's have the speed tiers. I'll take this. Um, I, I did a few trades like, after draft ended. I got Tornadus, missed Mungala, because I realized the fastest mod on my team was a Rotom Heat, so that was a problem. Now the speed tiers <laughs> look a little better with a 111, 100. But I have a pretty bulky team overall with... Mega Gyarados, Nidoqueen, and Rotom Heat having really good defensive synergy if you look at their weaknesses and resists. Type Null, which has insane base stats and now has access to Slack Off, Rapid Spin, Wish. And I also have Sylveon, which has a huge gimmick in this format of Fairy Type Rapid Spin, so it cannot be blocked by any like Plasma Fist, Volt Switch, Ghost Type, any normal way to block Rapid Spin. And obviously nothing like Taunt that blocks Defog will beat it. Well, I'm Plant is in the dock, but I actually get all of the forms, which... I'll upload a video later on why Wormdam Trash Cloak is better than Mega Sizzle, but we'll get to that when we're there. I have I have Melmetal, which Iron Fist Bullet Punch is all you really need to know. Also gets Automize, really good steel type, huge attack stat, huge defense stat. Just, we all know what Melmetal does, it punches things and it kills things. Decidueye, um, pretty nice. You who are experienced, a bit more experienced than a few of us in the Stabmon's format, um, can you tell us whether does fat stuff work? Oh, or... right. Yeah, I have a bit of experience on Stabmon's ladder, but ladder has a lot more lenient rules to this format. A lot of ladder Stabmon's is things like water spout, eruption, no retreat. You do see a lot of fat stuff in it sometimes, specifically Ferrothorn, Blissey, sometimes Tyranitar too. You see some fat stuff in Stabmons, but a lot of the fat stuff you see in Stabmons is different because a lot of it's recovery based, such as Moonlight Tapu Fini is quite good. Um, a lot of ground types that now have Shore Up are quite good. So there are, there are fat teams. I have faced a stall team, although it was a really bad one. But a lot of Stabmon's ladder is hyper offense, but I feel like in draft is too different to really guess at this okay. point. But it, it could work, is what I'm going to say. Alright. Now, yeah, we have... I mean, Mr. Mime Galar is another removal option. I have a lot of natural defoggers, although Sylveon's rapid spin that works on anything is probably my main removal. Decidueye is just a good grass type decently fast, gets okay moves now. With things like Strength Sap, Cotton Guard, I could run defensively, but it's mostly there for Moongeist being Poltergeist. Good mixed attacker. Um, yeah, I needed Tornadus because my team was so slow, I just wish it got Thunder Wave, but it doesn't. Rotom Heat's going to be nice with fire moves other than Overheat, so I can run like Searing Shot, Flamethrower, I can actually stay in and fire move without lowering my special attack. Um, 
I don't see many electric moves other than maybe parabolic charge that are gonna affect it much. It gets access to all ghost moves, but other than maybe Nightshade, I don't see me using many. Um, Needle Queen, pretty good in this format, has Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rocks, and Normal Spikes. That's going to be a good Hazard Mon. Uh, as well as Wormadam, that can run webs for me. And if I run the round one, I can also have Stealth Rocks and Spikes. So that just gives me different typing on my Hazard Setter than Needle Queen, which will have the ability to run any type. A combination of bug grass, bug steel, and bug ground. It's actually quite nice in this, it gives me access to a lot of different moves. Um, there's not too much to talk about Tornadus. I could run Bulk Up and Dragon Ascent, but it's mostly just there to keep my speed tiers not tragic like they were. And Mr. Mime Galar just gives me that psychic type, a nice type. A lot of teams have water types as one of their best ice resists, so I just wanted a mon with freeze dry. I needed one that was fast, Mr. Mime Galar just kind of did that. And Kuo has pretty good coverage here actually, it gets a lot of new dragon moves. I can run Dragon Dance Komo. I can run like Dragon Dance with Dragon Darts, Close Combat, I could run Special Set with I guess Joker meets your focus blast, nothing too crazy on that, but it's just a nice one to have really. Pretty bulky, pretty good offensively, pretty good defensively, it's just another nice one to have. Um, if you notice the order of my team looks kinda strange. I don't know why. I kind of just rearranged them into most points to least points after the draft happened. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And uh, Mega Gyarados, I need to talk about Vix. It's the only one I haven't mentioned, and it was my round one pick. So, Mob Rig is a good ability. Water Dark typing means I can run Pursuit on it, Sucker Punch, Parting Shot. I can run it defensively, but because of Gyarados' flying typing, I can use it for Roost, for Defog. So, I can actually use that 130 Spadef 109 defense. I can run it as a defensive wall, or I can just run Dragon Dance with like dark moves, water moves, I can flip turn with it. I could I could even try something weird like Oblivion Wing if I wanted, but I, I guess it mostly is going to be a sweeper because my team's quite bulky, but with Roost they can run defensive as well and has really good moves from dark typing. And I think that's it for my team. Are you excited to try it out? Oh, definitely. I think my team's pretty fun. I think... I don't know why Melmetal just seems really fun in this format to me. I just think that Autotomize and Bullet Punch are just going to make that one really fun. And I love Mega Gyarados' ability to get a Moxie boost and then Mega when it's types convenient. So, yeah, I'm excited for this team. Alright, uh, you wanted to move on to the next one? Yep, CTB. Which... Conk the Builder. This is Lars' team. Um, pretty good mons, I mean... I think Moltres Galar. I already want to talk about it. Insane mon in this format, it finally gets Roost, it gets Parting Shot, it gets Oblivion Wing. And Roost Berserk is an insane combination. Like, yeah, it can just this... keep getting boosts and just keep healing back up and then sweep. And no one talks about oh, its okay. 90 base attack. That thing can run Sucker Punch, that thing can run Dragon Ascent. Yeah, it won't get the benefit from its ability, but it's got the stats if it wants to run physical. I think it has... That's 85 attack, I was reading the wrong stat. I was reading HP. Where but is it? Still um... similar. Uh, what else? Tyranitar. Amazing mon in this format. Everything we spoke about, about Mega Tyranitar, <laughs> with the ability to run Chopple Berry, Pasho Berry, or even uh, Smooth Rock, although Stoutland's the only Sand Abuser on this team, I think, so I don't see that coming very often. Uh, was it lacking? This team has realized... a Fairy, has a Dragon. I don't see a Steel type. Unless I'm being blind Mowa. right now. Mega Mowa. I am being blind. I counted the fairy and just forgot to steal. Uh, Water Grass, Psychic, Fighting Dark. It has the main cause. Swamp, Ranatar, both with recovery here. Pretty bulky. 
I don't see many... I guess with Mew as a trick room setter, or if anything else, naturally learns trick room, like Chandelier, which does. Then you can run Mega Mowile. Lore. That can set up Trick Room for them. itself, but yeah, Mega Mowile, Executor Alola, two good Trick Room sweepers, and with Terrakion Bolt and Mew, this also has quite fast mons. I think this has really good speed tiers. I know there's two at 80, two that are both pretty much 60, but it seems got good speed tiers. Um, a lot. I think it has most of the typings you want in a team. So, I think it looks quite solid. Tr yeah, Terrakion with priority is going to be nice. Yeah, with Mark Punch and the Celeroc now. Yeah. No, Instead of Quick really Attack, good. which I'd... sucks on Terrakion. Yeah. If you run Quick Attack Terrakion, you're using it wrong, but some people <laughs> do. I think we're going to find out all the Galar birds are going to need to increase in points for next season. I... I don't think that... I, th I think Zapdos Galar, I moved up a lot from its non-Stabmon's position. I don't. I think that's probably going to stay the same. I think Moltres is definitely going up. And I don't think anyone yeah. drafted um, Articuno Galar. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the only things that make it kind of worthwhile are some of its moves, and those <laughs> get spread across a bunch of other things now. Okay, yeah, that's true. And yeah, this team does not have a bug type, so it doesn't have access to webs. But it has no, a it lot has of... pincer. Oh, pincer. I'm yeah. I, I can't see this. Yeah, it does have pincer. That's a good point. It does have access to webs if it wants to run webs to Rakion or any of its fast threats like Bolt and and with Swampert Tyranitar, that spikers gloom for toxic spikes. So you don't need to rely on um just suicide for hazards Mew like this team would have to in standard formats. I also like how like a lot of the team just like wants to bait in the steel types for Chandler and Terrakion because you have like the Titar and the Mawile. Oh, as well that as is very Kuru. true. Mega Mawile would do a strike instead of Iron Head. Just a little bit nicer of them on. Um, I honestly think this is one of the more threatening teams. I don't think any of the teams we've seen so far have just been straight up bad. But this one's quite threatening with Taraki and Mega Mowile, Chandelier, and obviously everything in between. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you want to add? Uh, answer this? Um, no. Well, I could I really. Think the only thing... I said everything. The only thing I would like to say is maybe something more than just out to abuse the sand, but. It's a pretty solid team. I mean, Taraki on special defense even can abuse it a little. Swampert gets a boosted Shore up. Oh, Shore up boosted in sand. That's a good point. Tyranitar and Swampert both click Shore up here, so that is going to help. But I think that's enough for them to go on to the next team. Alright. And the Sil Valley yeah. Swedes. Now, if anyone wants a more detailed analysis, Mana Burns channel has a very good one about this team. But is there a oh, shorter shit. version? I didn't realize this? this was your team. Yeah. Yeah. This looks so, horrible yeah. to play against. <laughs> Let's just have yeah. a I mean, Mana Burn. You can take us through this. Not as detailed as your own video, of course, but just uh, for, for the big analysis, one of your team. All right, so the, the idea was that we start off with Lele because we get terrain and we uh, bully everyone that rely on priority and then we beat everyone on speed tiers, hopefully to capitalize on the no priority rule. And we got some trapping on the back end to ensure that steel types don't get in our way. I think that's my commentary on this. We got I... some bird spam too, which I personally like. <laughs> Bird spam is quite good, not four as we saw earlier, so you might need a few more birds, but Dragonite Gyarados, <laughs> definitely pretty good mons. And yeah, with as I mean we've been mentioning priority a lot here with Ice Shard, Acela Rock, everything else being so widely available. Now having Lele is gonna shut down a lot of teams like mine, which would rely on priority to deal with faster mons. Now Obviously, Deoxys Speed and Megalopony, two of the fastest mons that were drafted. Those mons are going to be insanely good without Mach Punch, Sucker Punch, being able to take them out. 
and even Zaru not dying to first impression now, so... And obviously Volcarona, a Salarok. You really have abused the fact that people are going to want to run priority to beat these mons, and you slap Delele on the team. Which definitely has good synergy. Yeah, I, I hope that I can make use of the Arbok and the Pikachu, because <laughs> um, they were like the consequences of, of my actions, it feels like. I actually, so, I know you haven't done any calcs yet, so Lightball, Pikachu, and Gallery Dex Leagues that have been in has caused a lot of people. I've seen problems. I'm yeah, curious really. with I'm curious with the increased better electric move pool. What kind of oh, calcs that's you're going to end up seeing? Yeah, because it of... already does really good with fake out extreme speeds. Like it can do a good amount of chip. Like you'd be surprised. This is going to get moves like ball. Fusion Bolt and what's Bolt yeah. Strike. Bolt Strike. Plasma yeah. Fist. Bolt Strike. Uh, that's going to be insane. Like yeah. This is actually going to make Pikachu probably a lot more threatening than you considered it when you drafted it. Yeah. And you've got Deoxys Speed with Psychic Brain. Now, Deoxys Speed is going to obviously have Expanding Force. That is going to be a nightmare to deal with. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, I was yeah, just going to say, you could have maybe instead of Pikachu and Arbok, got like Kadabra or just like a expanding force abuser and then i realized deoxys speed is gonna get it mm -hmm. which yeah, without priority how are you going to deal with that i mean obviously a dark type could deal with it but you've got megalopony you've got lele you can deal with dark types back you have volcarona yeah so yeah i think this is i i wouldn't say within the maybe in the top five even and i think this is probably the team that's embraced stabmons the most which mm. makes me happy as the league owner oh and, thank you and i think uh, that's I... enough to go on to the next one maybe unless you have anything else we haven't said that you feel has to be uh one thing i do want to note is that um it may be hard but if someone gets up hazards they will be a pain to remove um, uh, rapid Spin Megalopony. I mean, you've got Roost can go on, what, Gyarados, Dragonite, but... Defog, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got options. That's what I meant. We have options, but... Now, a lot of mods like Dragonite and Volcarona already like to run boots, even Gyarados sometimes, so... A lot yeah, of your uh, mods can run boots. <laughs> should we move on to the next one? Oh. Uh, sure, let's do it. Because we have to don't get through get... all the teams eventually. Yeah, and I don't want to like just keep on talking about my own stuff. Yeah. Uh, I want to look at this uh, Fairy Steel Dragon Core. Oh yeah, Jirachi, Mega Deancey, Salamence. That's an insane trio. And Rotom Mo, one of the better Rotom forms in this form. Oh yeah, I was looking at that Rotom Mo during the... Drop. And Seismitoad now getting shore up. Yeah, with recovery, it's gonna be good. And Spikies. Yep. Yeah. And Mega Heracross first impression Mac Punch. That thing oh, yeah. can run Adamant and can spam priority here. It's gonna be a threat. Yeah, you'll really want to bug resist against them. And I see a lot of potential with Morgrem setting up screens, Dragon Dance Salamence, or. Mega Heracross, I believe that has setup options. I mean, it has bulk up if nothing else. And Whirlipede is oh, a good weapon. Oh, it has a full order. Defend order, attack yeah. order, and um, well, attack order. You wouldn't use attack order, but heal order. Yeah. And I think Whirlipede now has access to spikes, sticky webs, and toxic spikes, so pretty good low point webber. Um, speed tiers are alright, they have 110, 100, well 115, 100, it's good enough, I mean, a lot of middle tiers, like 75, 74, 70, 70, but it looks pretty good overall, I mean, Muckalola as a Pursuiter can definitely get rid of Psychic types, which would be a problem for Mega Heracross, but then this, own, this seems Hooper quite easily gets Pursuit Trapped, I feel, but definitely has really strong moves with Psy Strike, Moongeist Beam coming off that 150 special attack stat. 
Oh wait, this is normal oh. Deancey, I swear. I said Mega earlier, normal Deancey. Does he yeah. Have... Oh, he's, yeah, because he has Mega across, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think normal Deancey is going to be sick with the Moonlight. Oh, because... definitely. Now we can actually, like, check stuff. Yeah. And more I think we might see more special Salamence. But... Uh, special Salamence, that could happen, definitely. With I mean, it gets... Wing. It has other like coverage moves like fire blast on the special side if you did want to run that, and there's no yeah, hidden power pump. here though. So, oh yeah, hydro pump hurricane. It gets some moves, but... and all that hurricane would matter here because it would land that through the format if it didn't already have it. Jirachi, mm -hmm. honest, I mean, I it will believe... wish teleport. Yeah, I wish teleport. I believe double eye and bash is banned. Um, yeah. so we're not going to see Serene Grace flinch absolutely everything every time, luckily. Oh, that'd be horrible. That'd be horrible. If it's not banned, I'm putting it in there the second this finishes. Um, I'm almost positive it's banned. I, I'm pretty sure I put it there. Um, Domanitan, now it can use moves like Pyro Ball instead of Flare Blitz. It's going to be Sacred a lot nicer, fire. I think. Sacred Fire 2 to burn everything. I don't see... Wait, wait no. Ambipom's the normal type. You could run that as a rapid spinner, I guess. But there's, I mean, Roton Mo can aromatherapy, I guess. So this team can deal with moves like Glare that try to shut down Mega Heracross, Darmanitan, Jirachi, and Salamence. Yeah. Um. It, it, I mean, it's not particularly like it's not soup like there are not like that many monsters that rely on their speed tier anyway. Also. So I don't think uh, yeah, they... that's true. And... I, I do yeah, like I can... the inclusion of Whirlapeed here. I know there already is a bug in Mega Heracross, but you don't want that mon to be your webber. But Mega Heracross under webs is insane. Oh yeah. I I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't faced one in a while. Yeah. Uh, I do... I wonder if we we're gonna see like a Magma Storm Darm to trap something oh, and then kill could, it. <laughs> they could definitely try stuff like that. I mean, what does this team want to trap? Probably Steel types, but they're not gonna switch into Darm. I mean, Mega Heracross no. can appreciate bulky water stat, I guess. Yeah. It helps wear stuff down though, that it's like maybe oh, if you have something built that can survive, you know, they can get it, take a hit, and then. Um, like, you know, it get, now it gets recovery, so you're like, okay, I can switch in, take the hit, you know, get lefties, and then just recover and just stall, stall it out. Well, Darm's going to use Magma Storm to get that extra chip. Also, be interesting Shea strategy. Force Pyro Ball. I've just realized how strong that's going to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the other thing I was looking into when I was drafting is, because Sheer Force, the, like, it's, it's coded to basically it's like okay because on the sheer force mons can only learn these moves that it would work on that's the only thing we've seen it on but it's coded to work on any conceivable move yeah that it, it can work on yeah i think this is so, a good team I, i've said all of these teams so far are good but i think this is a pretty good one yeah, I, yeah. I'll it just has all the see, types yeah. you need and it has good synergy with screens hyper offense webs hyper offense and then pretty bulky mons like the Ansi, Seismitoad, Rotomo, that will get recovery. So, I think that's enough for this team. I think we've said most of the things I can think of. So, mm -hmm. IDI. Uh, IDI, uh, and we have... The Indonesian Infernapes. Oh, uh, they got the regular Aerodactyl. The regular well, one. Yep. One Rock of the head. bounty mods. One of the best mons in this format with Rockhead, Head Smash, Brave Bird, which is going to be insane. Insanely hard to switch into because you can't just run a Steel type because it runs Earthquake. Um, this team has improved a lot since we saw it mid draft because I remember this team having like four mons that are weak to ice as the first four and no ice resist. But now we see Mararak Alola as an ice resist. And Milotic. My opinion is not resist, it's just neutral. Oh yeah, I guess it's a neutral, yeah, fair enough. I mean every every team is going to have an ice weakness. <laughs> I, actually I was telling you this, but 
the bulky flying steels are going to be really annoying with Beak Blast. Definitely. Skarmory is going to be really annoying with King's Shield. What does yeah. Beak Blast do? Basically, so, it's, a, oh, it's, it's like, if it's you like make contact with the Mon during that turn, it will burn you. So... Yeah. And then also in addition to that, it then uh, hits you with a 100 base power flying move. Yeah. Is it good? The following turn. It's only if no, it makes that contact. Same turn. But... Yeah, yeah. So if yeah, you... Same turn. Yeah. If you I try and U turn still... out the Skarm, you'll get burned, and whatever comes in takes a pretty big hit. Oh, yeah, so basically. It's like a focus punch, kind of. Uh, uh, it's like focus punch. punch. No, it's, it's not really like focus punch. I don't know how to explain it. It's, yeah, if you hit it with a contact right. move, you get burn, and then it hits at the end of the turn. So it's like Avalanche, I guess. Like, it always yeah. goes last, Any, yeah. but if you no, hit I, it, it's different. No, I think uh, Beak Blast's, uh, like, the actual attack part is, like, zero priority. I think that just goes... Yeah, yeah. It, oh, right. It, the attack's no exactly, priority, yeah. but Beak Blast out of its star. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. the burn effect is, like, you have to be hit first. Yeah. So. And... It, yeah. yeah, it's really good on slow, bulky flying types in like this Scott, format. Right? Yeah. And Kamala has no, has been banned to have Raw and Whirlwind, thankfully. Was it you, Ant, su suggested that? Yeah. yeah, that would have been horrible if we let that happen. So, thank you. <laughs> Mega Venusaur with Strength Sap, Toxic Spikes, that's going to be annoying. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, it I, fit well. I do see Trick Room potential on this team. It's got Marowak, Alola, Mashana can set it. And it also has good high speed tiers. I know Aerodactyl and Jolteon are the same. 130 to 92 is quite a big jump. So a lot of mons can run Adamant against this team. But it has really fast mons. It has a good Trick Room mon if it needs to fight a team like that. And it has good bulk. I mean, one thing I'll say is I don't... Buzzwell and Skarmory, two mons with insane fizz death, pretty bad special defense. I feel like they don't have great synergy. But then you have Milotic with 125 special defense, which should deal with that. I, I, I was looking at Milotic and I felt like it doesn't gain much in the stab mons format, but it's one of those water mons that can really take the higher base power attacks that yeah. are in the format. Yeah, it's a Watermon that can kind of shrug off a freeze dry if it has to. And bulky waters don't get recovery like bulky grounds do, but Milotic already has that. And I just see the usual really, flip turn, scold, recover, just on a standard-ish set. Yeah, no, Crocodile is going to be good with shore up and spikes. Too, and pursue and sucker punch uh, you don't yeah. have to scarf it anymore exactly <laughs> once you get moxie boost you can just click sucker punch it's pretty good it's uh, gonna be like dragon mold. dance mold breaker dradagon could work but i don't really see you using dragon dance dradagon with a team like this you can trick room it the trick from dradagon is gonna be good yeah because it gets Dragon Darts and it has good attack and Mold Breaker, so... There probably is a Dragon move that would work better than Darts for Dragon because of Mold Breaker, but I can't think of it right now. And this team has alright synergy, it has a Steel, has a Fairy, has a Dragon. It has um, Dark Types switch into Mega Venusaur's Psychic Resist, although... I guess no, Mega Venusaur's not weak to ice, so it doesn't matter that Crook's weak to ice. There's a bit of an ice weakness still with Aerodactyl, Crocodile, Dragon, but way less bad than it was before. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Rapid Spin and Slack Off on Komala can be quite nice because that mon can't get toxic, so you're going to be able to run a decent stool set on Komala with recovery now but I can't think of much else about this team. Is there anything uh, Voldark or Ants would like to add before we move on? No, I think you said this, but it, it like doesn't get access to a bunch of new removal. 
yeah. like a lot of other teams do. Yeah, I mean, it's not too weak to rocks. I mean, it has Boswell, which fighting counts up bug. It has Maracalola, Aerodactyl, but nothing that's too bad. It doesn't have too many ones. One thing about it is that though Jolteon is not weak, it wants to pivot around a lot. Oh, so, Jolteon, that's well, a moment gains recovery. It can rapid spin. And like oh, I mentioned yeah. earlier, Jolteon can prevent rapid spins by clicking Plasma Fist to make Volt Absorb trigger on a rapid spin. But who knows if they'll run that. Uh, I mean, think... she could gain some health also. True. You can definitely run defensive Jolteon, but who knows if they'll do it. And I guess next team. Next team, we have the Bristol Brones, or I don't know how to pronounce Brio it. I'd say Brion, but Brion is whatever. This team, pretty solid in my opinion. I mean, pretty solid. It's got Garchomp. It's a mega scissor and Garchomp. Team. It's not just solid, it's great. And Drapion with its one weakness and recovery now is going to be really nice. Especially with... A lot of mons that can actually switch into that one weakness ground with Togekiss, Rotom Wash, and even Murkrow. Scissor can probably take the most ground hits too. Oh, definitely. So. I mean, Superior kind of bad in this format without hidden power. It pretty much only has grass moves and I think Dragon Balls. But is well, it you... cut moves plus hidden no hidden power? Or what? What yeah. is it? Cut moves are allowed, but no hidden power. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, it can be annoying with like a strength. It can still strength sap and jungle healing. Do, yeah, it can still do the... normal grass type things. You can definitely run some kind of uh, stall set with leech seed, jungle healing, something like that. Uh, pretty good speed tiers, I guess. 113, 104, and 102. And doesn't have too much on the slow side, but you wouldn't. You don't really need it on a team like this. I mean, you could run Pranks the Tailwind Murkrow if you need to get even faster, but... Oh, oh Rotom Wash gets exit to Scold. Yeah, Scold Rotom Wash is going to be nice, and Flip Turn, if you're having yeah. to deal with... Now it's going to be harder to bring in a ground type on it, because it could just Flip Turn out, which is going to exactly. be nice. Yeah, I think all the Rotoms basically got a boost in this format because they get extra coverage that they were denied. Especially the ones that now get recovery, like Fan and Mo, but all of them yeah. got a buff. Uh, Togekiss with 60% confused chance Hurricane. Pretty oh. fun. Oh no. I didn't even <laughs> think about that. 40% <laughs> confused Strange Steam. 60% special attack drop Moonblast. That's not going to be a fun one. Yeah, that's going to be really annoying, actually, the more you think about it. Mega Scizor gets Beak Blast, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, that's <laughs> going to be really interesting if they do bring yeah, that. Yeah, slow burner, basically. Um, uh, I think... is insane. I was about to pick that one up, but, uh, it, you know, it gets SD, then Quick Attack, Mock Punch. Uh, with Fluffy, it can be, like, a really good bulky Wish Passer. Uh, yeah. And Baton Pass for slow momentum. I mean, at 120 like, HP, that can be a really yeah. good wish passer. Uh, that does yeah. give him an extra strong fire weakness, though, since you're pretty much always going to run fluffy. I mean, I guess fire is probably one of the team's weakest areas. It has Delphox, Rotom Wash as the switch ins. Because you don't want to switch mm, Garchomp in and get burn. Oh, yeah, on the Sacred on like Fire. Yeah, Sacred Fire, Searing Shot, Flamethrower, you don't want to bring in Garchomp. I mean, it could run a defensive set with Draco and Earth Power, but realistically, if you're running that, you're kind of wasting your Garchomp. I I was actually going to pick up Delphox myself, and then I just felt like Rotom Heat fit my team better, and then they picked up Delphox. I mean, it does get Pursuit Trapped, but it gets pretty good coverage now with, uh, like, well, uh, what's the um, blue flare? That move and photon geyser moves like that. Uh, dr battle armor plus both defenses being boosted is not allowed because Drapion was the example we gave on why that had to be banned. On a mon, you cannot toxic stall and you cannot crit. That thing could click defend order twice and the game would be over. 
so <laughs> we didn't allow that. Uh, Murkrow gets Prankster Topsy Turvy. So this team's not going to get setup swept if that's on the team. That's a pretty yeah. nice combo to have. Um, I'm actually kind of interested in the use. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of use of Topsy Turvy. Yeah, I definitely think that going move's all not just going to be like something that happens in one game. Like after, yeah, th what we'll see with this league in general is after the first week or two, we're going to see like big advancements in the sets. As like, let's say someone's going to run glare spam. So week two, a lot of people might bring heal bell. Week one, someone yeah. might run. <laughs> Like, you're going to see things like that, and the meta is going to change or like, during yeah, the like, season. I mean, I brought up, yeah, I brought up Beak Blast here, and yeah. then people are going to realize, oh, literally any flying yeah. type or bulky flying type should run Beak Blast, as if an you, example. If like, you they run might, Beak you Blast know. week one, and then someone else sees that replay, they might run it week two, and we're just going to see a whole different meta develop inside this league. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like, yeah, like I said, Topsy Turvy will be used like Haze, like, it will all be there. Oh, definitely. That's what... Uh, are will there be like some form, some form of like a game of the week or anything? Uh, yes, actually, there is a heat of the week channel in this league where I think the way we're gonna do it is three games will get picked and the people will vote which one wins game of the week. Because um, I think it would be fun to like yeah, feature the, uh, the the new sets. Oh, yeah. definitely. I think. I don't know if I'd do it after playoffs or after the regular season, but I'll probably make a video on all of the games of the week, like in one, because I think that would be fun to go over some of the really cool sets people come up with in this format. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, yeah, really solid team. I mean, yeah, bit of a fire weakness, little bit of an ice weakness if we're looking at freeze dry, but... An, a combo that might go unnoticed, Vanalux with Aurora Veil plus Dragon Dance Garchomp. That can be a that could be a threat. Oh yeah. I I think yeah. Garchomp plus Mega Sizzle is all you really need today, and it's not like the rest of the team is much worse. Yeah, just throwing on support basically. Yeah, with I mean, there's Mega Sizzle as a Weber, I guess. Um, Superior can glare, but obviously so can any normal type in this format. Um, yeah. One, one thing I do wish, um, like wish for, is that uh, I I hope they make a good use of the Murkrow as it is their. Oh yeah, they got the Drake on. I was gonna say like they only have uh, one dark type, but then I saw the Drake on. It was nothing. I mean, they also have Toga kit. So both Mercury's types yeah. are already hit. It's just there for that priority. It's a, it's yeah. a solid 1.1. It shuts down the setup. It can prank the T-Wave things. It's always a good pickup if when you have a point left. Yeah, they got the good types. <laughs> yeah, they've they've got Cafagragus. They've got Beware. They have Steel, Dragon, Fairy. They have Mons off the ground. They have a ground type. Like They have all the immunities they need. Um, I think Drapion can run like Toxic Spikes and Sticky Web too, because Drapion gets all bug moves. Bug moves. And they have, I guess Garchomp can run Stealth Rocks and Spikes, although it probably won't. I guess that's one thing I see with this team. I don't see a Mon that's going to set Spikes often, but what has as they do have up should stay up when they have Cthulhuus as a spin blocker. And I don't believe many people are going to run Defog in a format like this, where Rapid Spin's a lot easier to get. There will be Defoggers, yeah. but I don't think it's going to be the main removal. I think we're going to see a lot of, yeah, a lot of spin, a lot of we interesting use of Court Change too, maybe. Uh, court uh, Change is on the banned moves list. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, oh, I, that's actually I, felt, kind of good now. I thought that was going to make normal types too good for removal. I think... Rapid Spin's balanced because you can bring in a ghost type on it, but if both teams are constantly just court changing the hazards, three turns they court change it back, it's just gonna it's just gonna completely control the whole hazard game. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, oh I yeah, I see it. Okay. Next team. Alright. Uh, we have the Warren Central Zamasantas. Now, 
I wanted Glastria. I'm going to be honest, I wanted Glastria from the start. But they, t they round one picked it. I was not prepared to pick it round one, but they did. So... I... I was looking at the 13 point last year, but then people wanted to move it up, and I was like, oh. Yeah, right. I, I've played a fair amount of Vladder Stab Mons, and I got to like top. F I think I got. I was like 60s somewhere with a banded Glastria team. Glacial Lance is allowed in that tier, but the only move I clicked was Ice Shard. I was winning games with five kills from Ice Shard in a row. Run a band on it, once it gets chilling nade boost from a kill, it just ice shards through the whole team and you win. It's a great mon in this format. Yes, it has weakness to bullet punch, mac punch, and a cellar rock, so it's probably easier to prep for. But once that thing gets going with ice shards, it's pretty much unstoppable. This, can we talk about the speed tiers? Because yeah, I was they, just about to bring it up. They Everything are is so above good. 100, and then it has Blaster, oh, which appreciates yeah. Trick Room. <laughs> and Dotler, which is a decent trick room setter. <laughs> I feel really sorry for the slow mons, which are gonna take the adamant uh, and modest uh, hits. So. Yeah, with with base 112 and like seven ones above it, that's higher than my high base speed tier. I'm gonna run adamant everything. This team's not yeah. that bulky. Mega Pidgeot, Inteleon, Cinderace, Raikou, Lycanroc. It's, it's like hyper offense, really. And it's yeah. also really weak to. Uh... Speed sweeping in, you know, Dragon Dance, Quiver Dance, even exactly. And look how many of the Mons only have one type. They're not getting too many moves. Like, too many new moves. I see two ground types of Mudstick and Steelix, which. What other defensive Mons does this team really have? Like, it's got Perugly, I guess, is bulky. Women's have got support, but. Mudstick is really gonna like recovery. Oh, really is, but Steelix and Mudsdale, they're like the two defensive mobs. I mean, I guess... Raikou and Whimsicott can probably get by. They're not... They can get by. Sleeping. Dotler can get by with a Violate and a uh, Heal Order, but... And this team... I mean, Glastria is really so, but that also has priority, so... It's only a really weird one to fight. Because imagine if you have Trick Room, what is this team going to do back? Like Glastier, uh, it, it, like, it will sweep you with Glastier. That's the that so, thing's what what offing you. So, whose team is this? This is uh, Warren Central. Warren, Warren Central. Central. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, Warren Central. And then I, I guess I might be wrong. I feel like I I I want like this team to slightly be reworked, but like six or seven mods to be swapped out. But we'll see. I feel like with the. There's five player trades and five free agents. They could... I don't want to say salvage this team, because it, it's not awful, but I feel like it needs a rework. Yeah. I and think then, it's good. Like, you, you get the core change with Cinderace, and uh, Mega Pidgeot is no slouch, especially yeah. with, like, the fat ground type supporting it. Yeah. It has Raikou to break a lot of mons to help Cinderace, although this is not Libero Cinderace. And Cinderace can definitely break steals that really stop Mega Pidgeot. Like, there is some offensive synergy in the offensive mons they have. I just feel like the speed tiers don't synergize too well. Yeah, like, you have Perugly and Lycanroc on the same speed, and I believe that was... Uh, Two at 115, Persian Alola and Raikou. And then 119, 120, and 121. But. It's, it's probably going to get a few wins. It's an alright team and it's got pretty good offense. And it has the support moves it needs. It has webs, it has spikes, it has rocks, it has tailwind, which it probably doesn't need. But it's a good team, I guess. I think yeah. it's time to go on to the next one. And we have last but not least, Ants. Do you want to take it away with the yeah. Colorado Clay uh, Dolls? Koopa is good. It's, uh, it is good. It. It, uh, it's got, you know, Hyperspace Fury, Photon Geyser, uh, Parting Shot's always really nice, but it also gets uh, stuff like Sucker Punch uh, paired with Meditate to set up its attack. Uh, 
I have loads and loads of uh, priority hazards, hazard removal, uh, and then also some good wish support uh, with uh, Snorlax to support everything. I think I'm pretty much going to be completely uncontested when it comes to uh, priority because I have like seven or eight Pokemon that get priority and then I have Serena to block it, lots of resist to every different type. Uh, lots of uh, Pokemon that have uh, some tech that you might not think of at first, uh, going to keep that secret for now. Uh, Rotom, of course, gets lots of really nice stab moves. Uh, yeah, yeah Rotom Frost is a like... lot better when it doesn't have Blizzard as the only ice move. Yeah. Uh, Meow Stick, you know, I can set up screens, I can get off like Prankster Lunar Dance. Uh, it, there's a lot that that can do. And also, uh, Talon Flame's good. Photon Geyser, or whatever, really, Psy Strike. Uh, Mega Steelix with Shore Up is really, really nice. Yeah, that's Just really nice. And Spikes as well now. It can run like yeah, Spike, Shore Up, Raw kind of sets. Yeah, and that's another Pokemon that gets the Diamond Storm Body Press combo. Also, Automize Mega Steelix if you want to run that. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds horrible. I don't that's know why I would run that. Body Press Automize? That sounds like an alright set. <laughs> I don't know, not for me. Nope. Uh, I think I mean, Talonflame gets a real big boost in this, oh, yeah, in the, this yeah, uh, format. The, the standard Talonflame in Ladder Stabmons is like Sword Stance, Dragon Ascent. Which, yeah. if you're able to keep that Gale Wings as they switch into a resist, once you get your um, Sword Stance, you can then go ham with the Priority Dragon Ascent, and with your Fireable Sacred Fires. Also, because its base form is a normal type, it can use Rapid Spin instead of Defog for removal, which is quite nice. Yeah. And you have Gengar as a spin blocker, which is really nice yeah, to have I, in a format like honestly, this. Gengar is probably the Pokemon that I'm the least happy with on this team. I, just, I needed a fast poison that was grounded. Yeah, it and does what it needs there. to, I guess. It's got yeah, Moonguy's yeah, Beam. I mean, it can run Toxic yeah. Spikes if you want. But Yeah, I, it, it's just not my favorite. I mean, I'll probably end up bringing it to a lot of games just because it's strong, but I I don't really feel like it gets all that much from stab mods, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and Mind Show, I was gonna grab Heracross, but uh, I really just needed a rock resist because That's I have like enough. four or five mods weak to rock. That is true. My only good resist is Steelix, mm -hmm. which is, you know, weak to Earthquake, which most rock types get anyway. Yep. Uh, I was gonna say something, but I. Oh, Hooper Unbound. Because the way that Hooper works, and you change it outside of battle with Prison Bottle. Both Hooper forms are going to get the coverage of both Hooper forms types, I believe. Oh, cool. So it is going to be able to run all the ghost moves. You can run Poltergeist and Shadow Sneak on it if you want. <laughs> I need to check that because I'm, I haven't actually played with a Hooper in the game, but I believe it changes forms outside of battle, therefore it yeah, will it learn the moves of both. Similar with the other I think Hooper that's right. being able to get dark type moves now. Uh, uh, as much as I agree with this, um, why can you explain to us why uh, we have those forms to get access to all the moves and not the uh, Rotom forms, which also changes forms outside of okay. battle? Rotom forms in Stabmon's technical rules should learn all of the moves of all of the types. But that would make Rotom forms too good in this format, I believe, because having that much coverage on one Mon, that large of a move pool, that there's just not enough Rotom forms to go around. I feel like that just makes them too strong and it's just uncompetitive. They'd all be at like 18 points. That was just for the sake of not making them too good. Like, they should, in theory, have all those moves, but... For the sake of comp competition, we won't allow that. All right. Then we know. Then the audience knows. <clears throat> yep. I th I did like a small intro before this. I think I mentioned it in that, but I I don't really remember. I know it was like someone. It came up during draft, and then also I think I forget whose team it is. Maybe it's Quag's team. He asked about his like bird that has the several forms, but. You only get those forms in battle. Yeah. Uh, so he doesn't actually get the access to the other moves. 
Wait, no, the uh, the Oric Oreos change form outside of battle. Yeah, I, oh, I think Oreo, yeah, you use yeah. the um, Nectars in like different places with the flowers. I believe Oric Oreo does actually get all the moves of all the types. Uh, okay, and and okay, I'm wrong then. Good to know. Yeah. That's gonna take you. Like the o I think the only exception we'll need to make is Rotom because of how many types it is and how powerful those types are. Obviously, Arikaru gets what fire, electric, ghost, psychic. They're all good, but it's just not as wide of a move pool and as powerful of a mon as Rotom is. I mean, its stats are kind of trash, though. So. Yeah, so we'll allow it for that because it's not gonna be like Rotom where everyone would want to draft a Rotom just because they have insane move pools and then depending on your draft they order you're not going to get a Rotom and now you kind of have a disadvantage already. Yeah. I do think that it should probably be a bit more than four points though. That definitely seems like a steal. Four points for yeah. which one? Yeah. Or Korea. Uh, maybe it yeah. should be. I don't think we were They'll probably really go up, I that imagine. with Orikoria. Yeah. This is the first season. None of us have ever ran a Stabmons League. The whole the whole of the tiering, pretty much. Apart from, apart from everything you saw polled, it was all done in like an hour and a half in a voice call with three yeah, of us sense. who've never ran a league like this. Two of them I don't even believe have played Stab Months, so the tiering will get better next season. But I feel like it's good enough as a start. Huh. Alright, uh, any last words? <laughs> Uh, uh bring up the rosters page. I wanna just oh, the I wanna overview. just you wanna Yeah. Some ranking, of all the teams. Or... Yeah, something like a rankings I guess we could do. Uh, Is there anyone good. who still has like a lot of unspent points? <laughs> I believe so. Uh, we have a, a lot left. One pointer here, unknown use. One pointer Can't with leave. an empty slot at the bottom. Free one pointer? Um, not free anymore, they didn't get it during the draft, therefore I would take a free agent, but... Probably worth it. Uh, I believe Warp Central on... has a lot of points left. I think Ants has a couple, unless he spent them. Uh, no, I ended up using all of mine. War um, Central is super rich over here. 12 Wait, points left. Oh, that, that makes so much sense. Okay, yeah. I was like, I feel something weird with this team. Mm -hmm. 12 points left. Which, 120 points is quite a lot, but because we moved a lot of mons up tiers, because of new things they got, we did not move a lot down. We felt like a lot of points was, like, probably a good thing. It may move down next yeah. season to 110 or even 100, but 120 points this season. We got a small one point row on Shikiri, and I think it was three points on Lonely Bane, and that's about... It's um, we did a good job in spending our points in most, most cases. Of us did, I think. Yeah, I think there were some people who spent a lot of points like right at the start. I think Kyobi was low, and I think Lars was really low. Look at Lars 17, 19, 15, 11, 17, 11, 12. I thought Lars I mean, was gonna run out of points, and then he just drafted a lot of budget at the end. Wait, you didn't think I would run out of points? <laughs> You drafted Trap Inch for two in the middle of the draft, and I feel like that just brought it back. And then you got <laughs> Deoxys Speed the very next turn. Uh -huh. But, yeah. There are some people who just only got big picks for like the first couple rounds. I know mine looks like that, but I don't know why the order of points was annoying me, so I put it in points order. Mm -hmm. Um. Do we want to do like, like w w which team, what are your top threes? Okay, you wanna... top, yeah, let's do everyone as cool as top threes. Let's put everyone on the spot. You, you, you can't choose your own team either. Okay, you no choosing choose your own like, team. Damn. The dangerous opponents. Yeah, dangerous opponents. For me personally, I think Mana Burns is a really hard one because I have a naturally slow team and Tapu Lele shuts down Mel Metal, which I'd use to deal with a lot of that. And... Yeah, for my team that might be hard because of the speed. I also think, I mean, Edster's team, really good fairy steel dragon, really good hyper offense with like Salamence and screens. Um, Mega Heracross, of course, with webs. 
I think for me, the hardest three is probably going to be Mana Burn, Edsta, maybe Kyobi, maybe um, Unknown's team's pretty good because I don't have any weather to deal with that. Extra might be hard for a lot of teams. Where is Unknown? Okay. Uh, uh, top left, second in. Oh yeah, oh, right. Galatios. Oh, the Megala oh yeah. That oh. seems going to be pretty hard for me because... Wait, can uh -huh. you scroll down so I can see the team quickly? Because that oh, Excadro yeah. is going to go in because Gyarados at Megas, that loses its Flying type. Rotom Heat loses its Levitate. And look at my Flying type. If I don't have that... Yeah, it's Tornadus, which is weak to Rock Slide because it doesn't have a secondary type that resists. And it doesn't really have a Prankster option that shuts down Excadrill. You do have the Type Null. Isn't that kind of bulk, bulk, Type Null is kind of really bulky. Yeah, I don't have a resist to its stabs, but I'm going to have to... I think Type Null for 6 points really big steal. But I think we probably should have moved it up a bit more when we were tiering, but that thing's insane bulk, really good defenses. And it could also run like a Sword Stance set. Um, so yeah, I'd say top three teams that I'm most scared of, probably Kyobi, Edsta, Mana Burn. Mm -hmm. What about Ants? Ants, uh, scroll over to it, so I can oh, see yeah. his uh, again. So... Oh, I thought the Ants wanted to uh, give a bit of... Oh, right, yeah. No, Ants team I'm scared uh, of as well. I, I, would say, Ants. I would agree that Kyobi is probably the strongest team. Uh, mm -hmm. It just... You know, Mega Scizor, Garchomp, uh, it, just having a really fast setup dark is really nice because then none of the pranksters can uh, undo their uh, boosts. Uh, then after that, uh, definitely Sir Kill. You know, you just need to prep for every single one of those Pokemon except maybe like a Molga. Oh, I, I completely forgot about that. That should definitely be top three. Yeah, Sir Kill, Kyovi, and Edstar, I'll say then. Like, Sir Kill's Pokemon are just so good. It, you know, Inferno and Mega Garchomp Bulu is it, insane. You can get a sweep going with uh, Acceleroc from Rhydon after a sword stance. Like, the, the mons are just scary. And it, with the really normal type like, move, like, Regigigas is a defensive mon. is insane base yeah. stats. It's not going to care it's, about that ability. And Infernape is like just about impossible to switch in on since you know it gets boosting moves from both types. Uh, its coverage is already incredible. And you don't know if it's physical or special on top of that. Like, it, it's just going to be insane. Exactly. Inferno uh, honestly could be an 18 point or even 19 next season. It's up there with Bulu. Like, yeah. those two mons together are insane. Uh, yeah. I guess that leaves Manavern or Voldark for their top three. Voldark, you want to go first? Uh, oh, gosh. I'm looking right now. Oh man, this is difficult. <laughs> yeah, Sir Kills is definitely there. <sighs> Let's actually take a look at, remind ourselves about Volberg's team. It's the Zapdos one, right? Yeah. I think Voldark's team is probably going to struggle with the Sand team with Excadrill. Like, yeah. I mean, he does have a Zapdos. <laughs> yeah, so he has good-ish rock moves. Zapdos doesn't right. want to come in too often. Yeah, Although it's team is also pretty pursuit weak since it effectively has two Psychic types and a Ghost type. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really considering getting rid of Ndidi. <laughs> I wanted other things, but I was, I got sniped so many times. <laughs> I'll probably like I'll, I'll go I'll go two weeks, and if I like lose both of them, I'll like figure out okay, like, what did I really lose to, and then I mean switch around from there. The things that like priority is good against on your team. I mean, if I shot on Flygon, indeed he won't stop because it's off the ground. Send Scorch and Ninetales are low, that yeah. and Volcanion, and two cannon, and zap those all weak to a cellar rock. Some of them are off the ground, but who knows? 
Yeah, we'll see how things go. With an Indeedee, I'd like to see an unburdened one or a expanding force abuser, but... Yeah, I don't have those, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I can't really say. I'm looking at all these seams, they all look really tough. Yeah. I mean, I think it's because there's things I want to... Like, with all the new moves, some of these teams might be way better than they look like they are with what we're used to. Yeah, exactly. And that's when I that's when I, I, I think we'll have a good idea in this first two weeks. Like, Oh yeah, like, first oh, two weeks is, is going to show us a lot about the players as well, because one thing with a format like this is nothing is standard. Creativity is really important here. Yeah, exactly. And then Mana Burn, do you have a top three? Um, I I think the, 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 the teams I will struggle against will be the electric and uh, the electric mons and the mons with the fat steels and psychic types. So like that mega steelix is gonna be a bitch to break. Um, the uh, also the sloking galar on the circle team. I mean, circle also has a really good steel and a scavalier. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. It, it, it does not re. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be you know, tough too. Um, hopefully, it's un it's fortunately enough not a steel type that uh, stops bird spam in general. Uh, that's true. Well, it's gonna be annoying. Uh, and I mean, the type of Coco is gonna be. Uh, is gonna. Yeah, have Coco a Raichu day. is always a good pair, whatever the format. Oh, yeah. how do we do the custom game? Like, how do you select it as a format? Okay, right, when oh, you build uh, the team, you reason. can't select custom game as a format, but when you challenge someone, custom oh, game that, is a okay. thing. Okay, so you would just, what you would you make the... You, you don't actually need to validate the team as anything. You could put it as any, like, any of the tiers, and it'll let you run it in custom game. I guess pure hackmons is the closest, like, to allow all the moves, I guess? I mean, yeah, pure hackmons will show you all the moves, but I would do, um, I'd personally just use National Dex AG and then just add in stab moves that I know these mons can run, just so I get all of the Oh, yeah, moves. just do illegal moves. Because if, if you do just, put, gotcha. um, pure okay. hackmons, you might think a mon is a move that it doesn't. Yeah. That's reasonable. Uh, all right. Uh, do you want to do an outro, Xe? An outro? Exit? Oh yeah, an outro. I, I don't normally bother with outros. I normally just say bye and end the video. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>